to a pharmacy when I'm sick. Good day. I'm Yusuf Abdul Hafiz by name. And when I'm sick, most times um, I tend to like watch the sickness. If it's serious, I go to um, healthcare facilities like hospitals to get treatment. Okay, when I'm sick, I go to a pharmacy or a clinic or probably a hospital, depending on the level of my sickness. Assessing, assessing medical, um, medical facilities and personnel from a pharmacy is quite, is quite easy compared to big, big hospitals and stuff like that. Yeah, when I feel ill, I usually go to um, a chemist. There's a nurse in my area who usually tend to our needs. But, you know, when it gets really serious, that's when we find ourselves going to the hospital or when she advises us to go to the hospital. Uh, my name is Holy P. Um, I barely fall sick, but when I do, I visit the pharmacy. My name is Muzemil Elias. Um, I usually go to the hospital whenever I'm sick. I go to the hospital or any healthcare center around my area. And there's always this discrimination that you are younger, this and that, you have to do this, why are you doing this and all that. So anytime I'm going to like be with the general hospital now, you see that they say, wear your face mask when you enter the hospital. And I think some days back or so, I was entering the hospital, they said, wear your face mask. I didn't have this face mask, so I entered the hospital finally. There was this lady that was in front of me, she, she, she did not so like, when we were telling you to enter the hospital with face mask, you, were not you, you didn't agree to get the face mask and all that. So they didn't even attend to me, they allowed me to be like the last person. I didn't want to anybody in front of the one giving me the care and all that. So I went, after I got in, as in into the consulting room, my situation was that I needed to get contraceptives for something that happened. But not even for myself, but for my friend. But they were like, ah, why, why do you need contraceptives? I told them the reason, they were like, ah, you're too young, don't do this, why are you doing this? And giving me this religious perspective, which I don't believe so. I don't think that's necessary. If someone has a problem, attend to the problem first before you give the person religious background. Religion should not even be aff affiliated to hospital situations and all that. About me assessing, assessing facilities like that, we look at the, our healthcare workers, what they do, the way they look down on youth, especially under age, those below 18. Well, I've, had, I've, I've, I've been privileged to have an experience. I went, I went for a drug one time in one of the big facilities here in town. And there was this young lady, probably 16, 15. She was being asked questions, not just by the healthcare worker, but people around. That, that is where the African culture comes in. People around with healthcare workers asking her, how do you get this pregnancy? Things like, um, how come you are underage? They don't even want to know is it a rape case? Is it nope? They're just like you are not you are not you are not permitted or you are not you are not in this level of getting this pregnancy and stuff like this. I I I of my own opinion now to believe and say that we should reduce the way this African culture and mentality we normally have. Because you you don't you you reduce other people's stress of coming in to come come and get medical and um, um, health care. That is where abortion and other incriminating acts coming please thank you and talking about my experience on how i've been treated and how i've seen fellow youths by me being treated well personally i have an experience whereby i was out of my curiosity went to the healthcare facility to ask about stis hiv and aids and also um how to well i say contraceptives in general condoms and the next thing was the way i was answered was how is that my business? That's not something I'm meant to be curious about at my age. And I, I saw it as being looked down upon. Those were important information for me to get. And that was the proper place for me to get such, such kind of information. But yet, look at the way they treated me. There was also another case where my friend was having an, a UTI infection, urinary tract infection. And on getting to the hospital, she was immediately talk to her, see if she's having an STI and why she, what should she have done to have gotten an STI, which is not the, the right approach. They should have known what, leads to, what led to her getting an STI. Is it out of carelessness? Is it out of toilet, um, misappropriated, um, misused toilets in general and stuff like that? There are very many ways to get STIs. And even if she had STIs due to sexual intercourse, they shouldn't have judged her. They should have been open-minded. They should have talked to her to know how it came about and should have been focused on getting her proper treatment first before any other thing and i've never experienced being treated negatively because of my age but i've had experiences of people who are treated negatively because of their circumstance of sicknesses like i have a friend i have a friend who was sick she was pregnant and she went to the hospital but she was treated badly because of the her age group she was under 16 
and then they didn't even want to understand how that pregnancy came about they were just saying why will you get pregnant you are living a bad life and stuff like that but not knowing that they are supposed to treat everybody equally and i feel like sometimes um in the hospital setting um people are treated differently because of their age that's um the health personnel and the hospital personnel usually um give undue attention to people of lower age because they feel like um they are not i don't know i don't know their reason but um sometimes like for example now it was the time i went to the hospital and it was urgent i went with my brother so i was like the elder there and then um i, I kept waiting for my turn to reach and people who came after me kept going forward without them giving me the due attention i needed yes um, i think i've been treated differently because of my age there was a situation where i was um i went to the pharmacy with a friend of mine she is a nurse and so when we got there she needed to get some stuff so she requested for i think um female condoms and um posting or two yes and um the pharmacist looked at me and you know showed um disdain and probably because he know me in person and then it was like ah this churchy this guy that goes to church and um you know looking for condoms and contraceptives so they are about to go and do this and i was actually mad at the treatment and so i felt she was he, he was not in any position to play moral judge about the whole thing so yeah um i have actually been treated differently because of my age at some point in a hospital i i was there at the hospital and they just kept me on post like i was just kept there even while my card was being pushed up and i think at that point i was kept there because there were other elderly people there fine i know with our Af uh, african culture we need to tend to our elders first that different situations but in this case it was a total mess like i was being treated as though like if, okay see in this situation I, look at me i know i look very young but i look way younger than my age and that was used against me at some point where something i used to think was a blessing but i felt terrible because i was affected mentally like my mental health was just not good because i felt okay i did something wrong maybe to the man at the gate or to the doctor or the nurse i just i just couldn't understand what was happening but that was that was my experience and an advice i would like to give to the health workers is that all lives matters they should treat everybody especially the youth well so that they will feel comfortable to come to the hospital anytime they have any challenge at all thank you so my advice to healthcare workers in general is yeah we all have our backgrounds and they have effects on how we think but yet as healthcare professionals they should be professional they should be open minded they should be able to communicate with patients and be able to avoid the urge to judge them so as to offer appropriate and adequate healthcare um healthcare to patients and so um my advice to health um care givers is to probably um be professional about their services and try to reduce the rate at which they um go about making moral judgments about persons and to pr i i felt actually um stigmatized um religiously on that ground and so i it's actually unfair so they really need to be professional about how they handle such situations whenever i go to the hospital there's this um age based stigma and discrimination that is usually directed towards me like they have this image of of me being just because i'm young is it, it seems i don't know what i'm doing or something i don't i don't really get why that discrimination is there but once you are a young person the um you are not given the right attention that is meant to be given to you yeah, so my advice basically is that healthcare providers should just have this open mind that these are young persons coming to these facilities at least let's first deliver the care first before we can give them any other etc so basically that's it um i think the advice i have for medical practitioners is that they should try to treat people equally at some point treat people fairly we're all humans i may mean, come into the hospital with just a headache but you don't know how deep or how different it is you don't know how far it has gone or with just stomach pain or something so my advice to medical practitioners is that they should just try to treat people fairly like 
favoritism self comes in sometimes like i know this person i know that person they should just be fair that's it the advice i would give to um the health personnel in this regard is that they need to treat every person equally because sometimes the emergency the person of the lower age might have might, might be more complicated than that of than the one that they are, they are attending to first so i think um that's all i have to say